Uh, I got too many games to go. Let's try them. This is my first impression backlog of Death March here. We've got Hacknet. Let's give this a shot. Uh, new session, no accounts, login, uh, ba -ba -ba. what are extensions? Intro extension? Uh, exempt will teach the basics of building a Hacknet extension. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. First things first, settings. Here's kind of the general settings. Pretty straightforward. Music volume, yeah, let me turn that down a little bit. I did change it to uh, 1280, 1280 by 720 uh, instead of full screen, but whatever. Light changes, extensions. Yeah, let's go through the intro. Username. Password. Beard. Hell. Beard. Hell. Press ready to confirm. Ooh. Computery stuff. Amazing. Welcome to Hacknet Extension. Fundamental of extensions that get you started working on your own. Oh. Initializing the terminal. Hehe. <laughs> Reticulating splines. Who to to help your workstation? All right. What? It actually has a uh, command prompt, like, off the screen, which you can't see. Alright, no idea why that is having problems. Let's go up here. Oh, I'm logged in. Matt, welcome to Matt. Playing and we, okay. Each extension has a folder and extensions that do. Oh, so I actually have to go into oh, the file manager. Okay, yeah. Not showing it on the screen right now, but I am browsing to that folder. Containing this mission and open it. Missions. So you actually have to have some amount of At least very basic computer knowledge. I 
Okay, intro mission one. Yeah, got it open. You'll see a goal of type get string. Yep. Why? Okay. Dependable skeleton. Now I'm actually going to type it in. And double skeleton. Copy pasting. I just misspell it. Oh. Reply with the text in the target field to continue. Oh, okay. Okay. Nodes info. Sorry if you're getting a lot of creaking, but Nodes. Indro. I'm sure this is riveting to look at. Especially since you're not seeing all of the uh, stuff going on. So I uh, am playing this, or trying this right after I played, uh, tried out a Hypnospace Outlaw. Now Hypnospace Outlaw actually has the entire operating system kind of contained in the game. So you're not like going around the Windows operating system or Linux if you are using that. So I think that for a game purpose that actually is a little bit better because you can kind of better encapsulate what is part of the game, what is uh, not. I know uh, Doki Doki Literature Club is a little bit of uh, uh, moving around in the like real OS. So, I mean, it can you can break uh, the fourth wall kind of like that. A little bit intentionally, but... I mean, for something like this, where it's, like, on its face, uh, like, a computer sim, where it's Doki Doki is more of kind of like a, oh, snap, it's kind of getting meta later in the thing. So, it's a little bit different things here. Anyway, what am I doing here? I guess I should go up to the nodes folder from there. You can find files defining the computer that's linked below. Open the up. Open the up and have a look around at how the computer is defined in XML. Admin pass for that computer in the file. Log in and download the programs that are on it. Hmm. Okay. Here is the admin password. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. What? Min password one, two, three, four, five. 
two, three, four, five. Gonna work. Bam. Okay. Probe it. See what it's got. Okay. Hmm. Bin SSH crack. Can I right click on anything? Okay, how do I install this stuff? Okay, that just kind of brings me back to the same thing. Log in and download the programs. How do I download the programs? Like, how do I... Yeah, I click on them. I click and drag. this one Sure. Uh, new session. Okay. This 14 day timer expired. Initially, initializing fail safe. Hi, this is strange, stranger than I expected. Uh, to do. Okay, so enough of that intro thing. I guess that was just more of a tutorial, but I guess don't know how I'm supposed to download stuff. I get the feeling that this one may have a guide or something on the side that I'm supposed to look at. I know some of them have, uh, uh I think TIS 100 made by, uh, Zachtronics actually has like a manual you can print out and keep with you. As of right now, learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence. Okay. Clicking the node. Just 
Scan it for adjacent nodes. Disconnect from your machine. Command analyze. All right. Okay. Port hack. Hacking into the matrix. Scan. Okay, so you type in stuff. Are these little executables? Alright, so kind of Linux commands. config bam move up a folder in the directory tree using cd move to the log folder Locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. Okay. Well, <sighs> all right. Ooh, yes. Running processes. All right. And then kill 120. Kablamski. First contact. I don't know you, and I'm sad to say that I never will. Right now I'm trapped. There's no way out, and not enough time, and I need your help. There's something you need to take care of. Was it meant to be released? Okay, now it's starting to get into the actual plot. So, just a first impression. Uh, overall, seems interesting. Can't imagine it'd be too long of a game. It definitely seems like. Well, like. The controls seem okay, uh, it does kind of seem like, judging by the fact that there's like only one song in the soundtrack, it's maybe a bit more of a budget created uh, title, which doesn't make it bad, just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, not really sure too much about the plot yet, uh, kind of got sidetracked on that whole intro thing, thinking that'd be more of a tutorial, but you know, you actually go into the game itself and try to find go through a tutorial there so overall pretty interesting uh can't really see myself uh 
making time to sit down and play it, though. I mean, I know how to use computers and everything. Not really, haven't really been drawn into any kind of a plot yet, but that's, yeah, that's all on me because I kind of got sidetracked here on the wrong thing, but could be good, could be bad. Uh, I don't know, it just kind of seems, uh, seems like they definitely had their plan that they wanted to go through. And, you know, kudos to them for finishing it, but I don't know, not, uh, not a whole lot of meat on the bones here. I mean, it definitely has some good things. Uh, the interface is pretty well made, I think, pretty, uh, sure it's all, uh, terminal and whatnot, but they actually have some nice accents here. It's not a ugly terminal. They definitely could have, you know, possibly made a terminal look a lot worse than this, so it is... You know, appealing to work with and whatnot and yeah uh, I don't know it's just not really resonating and I do kind of like programming style games who knows maybe, uh, maybe I'll come back to this one give it a second impression kind of dig a little deeper give it a give it a fair chance to impress me but uh, yeah not too nothing too much to say about it yet but there you go. This is Hacknet. Till next time, Alita.